uh, having uh, in place the legal technology and standardization framework define the rules for the interoperability will on the end of the day uh, help to make sure that investments made by the public sector in the let's say, digital environment will deliver the expected benefits and especially the outcomes which we see that they might be already available but they are still not there so because it, it facilitates um, data integration and it reduces the amount of work that needs to be duplicated or triplicated or quadruplicated. So it's um, it, it, it eases the burden of work um, and it saves us from reinventing the wheel, which is something that, that's often, um, that unfortunately happens quite often. That's what interoper interoperability brings to us. Um, a saving of time, um, efficiency gains, um, and a quicker run through of projects and, and initiatives. Uh, the, the biggest benefit, of course, is related with uh, faster and better uh, decision making or uh, realization of the processes, not only within the uh, geospatial uh, community, but also on wider uh, community in governmental and in uh, private uh, sector. I believe that interoperability is essential to get uh, access to data. So uh, if you think of a city or a government in, or a region, you'll see that there are different domains that are that can be monitored and digitalized. So you can have uh, a smart mobility scenario where you monitor the parking data or the traffic information that you could use to control traffic lights or uh, create, get the best route to your working place. If you limit this information and you lock it for the parking service pro operator or for the traffic operator and they don't share the information with the community and you don't have this interoperability, uh, you will not be able to understand that the parking, the lack of parking availability is a potential cause of the congestion and you will always have this uh, common, common ground or uh, you will not have data to assess that. So I believe that the first step to take uh, data-driven decisions on a smart cities domain, we need to solve the interoperability issues of uh, collecting data and, and getting access to uh, data that's not privacy sensitive, but that helps on making decision and uh, taking better informed decisions and in, in towards sustainability. It is essential to be able to reuse and share data. M m much on the work on the ecosystem is more on the overall architecture, architectural framework, reference architecture, and it's focusing on, for example, semantic and technical interoperabilities and to, to be able to share data, interoperability is a keyword. Like fulfilling user expectations, important uh, uh, decision making for uh, for the um, the green economy, I, I, well, in general, it's decision making. And there are many ways you could describe the importance of interoperability uh, at a technical level or or some other levels, uh, um, maybe yeah, other levels. But I think it has to do with a very fundamental uh, human aspect of communicating. The need to communicate, the need to collaborate and the need to share things. So I think this is very, very uh, fundamentally human. And then you could add all the technical aspects, of course. But I mean, uh, again, communicating, collaboration and uh, uh, sharing mm -hmm. things. Well, I see it as, as, as one of, let's say, the key enablers yeah, for uh, building uh, this digital economy supporting a digital society and I, I'm used to to mention it in the in the in the uh, let's say in the context of fair which means that you talk about information which is findable which is accessible yeah, where you can go when you need it which is interoperable uh, and which is reusable and uh, in many cases we also add an e to fair, so you say fairy, because it should also be 
ethical. It should, should also uh, meet the, let's say, the requirements we do have in, in a democratic uh, uh, society like we have in, in Europe. So interoperable is one of the, of the key enablers. So when there is no interoperability, uh, you, won't, you won't see, let's say, the uptake of location, location data, location technology within all those societal applications. So inter interoperability is key, as are the other, let's say, eh, the other cornerstones of those FAIR principles. Well, uh, interoperability is essential for, um, you know, a number of reasons, uh, but perhaps one of the uh, most significant reasons from my perspective is that uh, you uh, avoid vendor lock-in uh, when you have a strong and good set of standards that um, you know that vendors implement. Implement now. When I say vendor lock-in, I'm really referring to that stage or that situation where you might find that a consumer is tied to only one uh, specific supplier, and so. Uh, interoperability um, and the standards that enable interoperability plays a key role in avoiding that type of situation. So that's, uh, from my perspective, is why interoperability is, is, is essential.